Good morning, everyone. Stray Dog Bill Arnold, AKA Stray Dog Billy, here again today with my daughter, Erin. We're doing song number 1245 and 1245 days in a row. We started doing one song every day on August 7th of 2020. And here we are 1245 days later, more than three years doing another one. We're gonna keep on doing one song every single day until homeless dogs and cats are no longer killed, euthanized in the kill shelters across our country because when they run out of space, there is nothing else they can do. They start euthanizing the poor dogs and cats who have been there the longest. Terrible tragedy. We'll talk more about the, this horrible tragedy at the, after the song. And the solution. And the solution, yes. Uh, okay, let's do uh, song number, or, or, oh yeah, Margaritaville. This is a Jimmy Buffett song. It's called Margaritaville, and are we ready? Here we go. Two, three, four. Six straight, I'm up for four swings. 
everybody spay and neuter your pets. Let's get a hold of this uh, overpopulation problem in the dog and cat world. We're still killing the day we as a society are allowing this to happen. Over a, a thousand dogs and cats are still being killed on the average every day. 365,000 per year. It used to be much worse back in just uh, in 2011, it was 7,000 per day. And back in 1970, believe it or not, 41,000 dogs and cats were killed on the average every single day, 41,000 per day. That's how bad it was, 15 million that year. Divide that by 365, you get 41,000 per day. Terrible, terrible tragedy that this is going on. It can be stopped. We've got to get control of conception in the dog and cat world, only allow them to conceive and have puppies and kittens. And, 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 and if we can, we guarantee that they're that they will be taken care of and and have fine homes and so forth we cannot kill we cannot keep on killing these beautiful animals that were born and and shouldn't have shouldn't have been conceived in the first place now today we're going to do the longer version of the of the show and talk a little bit about uh, uh, stray dog no kill dog shelter Aaron's mother and I started the shelter back in and uh, in 1994, we became a Texas nonprofit corporation and, and, and 1997, and that led to applying for and receiving from the IRS 501c3 tax exempt status, making all donations, all contributions to the shelter tax deductible. You can go online, if you could please, at straydog.org and make a tax deductible donation. It costs a lot more money to run a no-kill dog shelter. Before I go on though, I want to talk about I mentioned that uh, the Pat Arnold, the late Pat Arnold, who was really the founder of our shelter, uh, uh, she and she and I started it, so I'm co-founder too. But we uh, back and she passed on uh, over 20 years ago now, and, and uh, in 2003, a terrible tragedy. She was out taking care of the dogs one day, and she suffered a brain aneurysm. You don't know those things are coming, uh, and she passed on the next day. Terrible, terrible tragedy for all of us. And uh, we're now being led by my second wife, Juana Vasquez Arnold, who's running the shelter. She's on the board of directors. She's the shelter director, and uh, she's taking care of the, the shelter. And so while well, Aaron and I keep doing these daily songs and to try to get everybody to spay and neuter their pets. So uh, uh, please uh, uh, make a donation to, uh, to Stray Dog if you could. And oh yeah, let's talk about that. what we do at the shelter, why it costs so much to run a no-kill dog shelter. If you can kill the dogs and cats, which we don't do, then it, it costs a lot less because you don't have to keep taking care of them. We want we take care of all the animals we rescue, and we go on adoption days every week to try to rescue, uh, to try to adopt out as many as we can, so that we can take in some more rescues. And what else do we do at the shelter, Aaron? Well, we have complete medical care for all 160 dogs. Yeah. so that's a lot of. A lot of vet visits. And a lot of vet visits, and it costs a lot of money to do that. As you know, if you only have a couple pets and you go to the vet, it costs money. And uh, so we re really need your help on, on taking care of our, our medical bills. What else do we do? Well, two nutritious meals a day. Yes, one at 6 a.m. This is stuff that, all the stuff that, that Pat Arnold put in place when she started the shelter back in 94. Uh, we're still doing the day. We do the two nutritious meals, one at 6 a.m. and one in the afternoon to break up the day so that the dogs have something to look forward to every day. And then what else well, we got? They also look forward to their part-time walks daily. Uh, yeah, that's for sure. We two have parks. Pat Arnold uh, in 97, we built the first big park, big enclosed area, uh, half the size of a football field about. And it's uh, with a fence all around it, and the dogs are taken from their kennels to the park every single day, uh, and they, they look forward to these these park walks. They do their business in the park, and they they just <laughs> sniff around. And they have a good, great time. And what else do we do? Well, the kennels are cleaned up after the meals, and holes are filled in. And <clears throat> check yeah, the they, fences. They are check the fencing. And hay and, in the winter time and. There's a lot of kennel work. Yeah, there's a lot of kennel work to do every single day, and we have a crew of about 10 people that help out do all this this work every day. Plus, we have, uh, well, the caregiving rounds, yeah, too. They all, all the dogs look forward to their meals, their part-time walks, and their 
the caregiving rounds, the caregivers go into each and every kennel and sit with the dogs and rub their tummies and play ball with the ones who love to play ball. And so they, they, they really enjoy that. And then we also have 24 seven coverage as a, or an overnight person. And so that's very important. So please check that out and also check out, uh, 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 if you go on straydog.org and go to About Us and Our Story and the history of Stray Dog is the first paragraph then they have all the other years all the way up to the present below that. But back here, I did a video back five years ago, uh, I helped out do a video. I kind of gave the history of Stray Dog at the very beginning of it and you get to see me talk about that. So it's, it's pretty good. And you get to see also some clips that this uh, gentleman, uh, uh, John Paul Bonnelly, who was a videographer, he made the, he helped us make the tape. He has a drone, so you get the drone shot from above and, and you get to see clips of Pat Arnold back in, in 98, we made the, that, that tape. And so there's clips of that tape and showing her with the, and, and the park and so forth and taking the dogs to the park back then. So it's kind of, it's really a neat video. We had about 24 dogs back at that time. Okay, we'll be back again tomorrow with another song from Stray Dog Billy and Aaron.